Hi friends. <clears throat> I wanted to share this smoke with you. Okay. We're getting into it. Tarot. The field and the muse. Does this have a different I might have a different. Let me see. Let me see before we do it. Princesses are pages. Justice is eight, and strength is eleven. The universe is the world. Sometimes they're different. <clears throat> These are the two that are talking about this one, the field. Oh my gosh. No. Nope. The five of pentacles, destitution. Five of pentacles. what you're coming out of. Looking at it in a from a different perspective and not being stressed by the lesson anymore. It's just not worth your peace. You're alchemizing It feels like how my day was today. It looked like this and felt like this. The five of pentacles is severe lack, feeling severely like a misfit. Like hopeless, hopeless. But this card doesn't feel hopeless, right? I had, an, I had a day that was in the flow the entire day. It's still going, just why I'm doing this reading. I painted my toenails, the color is Jezebel. It's super dope. It's like a deep, like blood, Merlot, red wine, but deep, you know, it's sultry. I didn't pick it on purpose. I was doubting it too. I was like, I don't, you know, I bought it at some point. So it's Mark Jacobs, Jezebel. It's dope. And I, I'm, I'm my everything. It's just like fueling my energetic reserve. That's what this feels like. It feels like taking, it's not even that you're taking the low, the lows. It's that you're choosing the high. You're not alchemizing, you're just shifting. You've literally stepped out of it and you're like, no thanks, like, no thanks, no thanks. Ace of Cups, love. That's accepting the call from the universe, the invitation. Aces are invitations. And the Ace of Cups is an invitation to choosing the frequency and maintaining and committing to it of unconditional love, of being it, of seeing it, of sharing it, of nurturing it, of preserving it, all of the realizations that come with that, that you are unconditional love. And what does that mean? Holding yourself as sacred. What does that mean? 
if you're sacred, where, where does your source come from? And then the energy, you know, it's, it's the connection with everything. And then it's being able to show up. So this is the invitation. And you're saying yes. You're saying yes. It wants me to look at the top, the tower. Yep. It's a tower, but you're the one with the, the, what do you call, it's not a hammer, right? When you knock a foundational wall down, whatever that big thing is, it's like a big hammer. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. When you knocked it down because you were ready, it had to go. You're choosing you and you're choosing new. You're choosing you and you're choosing new. Ten of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. The tower, burden, and nurture. Burden is the ten of wands, and queen of discs or pentacles is nurture. I'll show you all of them. They really go like this. This is the first one. This is the one behind that, and then the one behind that. You feel me? In order to grow, you had to let go. Oh, all these freaking rhymey quotes are freaking me out. What the heck? But in order to grow, you had to let go. The Ten of Wands is burdens you're carrying that aren't yours to carry, but you've been so used to carrying them. You assigned yourself it and you haven't recognized it, but the tower is recognizing it. This is... This is something that has felt insurmountable to you until this point. It's just the beginning. The beginning of the rest of your life. This is the cheesiest quoted reading I have done ever, I think. Okay. The Ten of Swords Despair. It says, it's, it has not escaped me. Oh, that's so smart. These cards are so heavy. The Ten of Wands, the Ten of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, the Tower. Look at this. Look at that, but look at the, look at the blooming, right? They're not through her. It's, it's like, it's the choosing, it's the taking your power back. This and that are always true. Whenever, whatever one form something exists in, the equal opposite is also possible and happening somewhere. So if you have a lesson and you got there and it was, if you have a lesson, you have two ways that it can go. You're gonna learn the lesson. Okay, no matter what, you're gonna learn it. You're either gonna learn it in the most difficult way possible until you learn it, or in the most beautiful way possible until you learn it. So when you have deep, deep grief, the exact opposite can, is also true. You don't have to come to something through so much pain. If the path to pain exists, the path to joy and peace exists. That's what this is. It's this it's up until now seemingly insurmountable 
grief and ag agony and stuck stuckedness. It's there's still pain there. The hurt is still there. It's not closed. It's not healed. It still has pain, but it's echoes. It's echoes. It's fog. It's lifting. It's turning into fog and lifting. And it's going to be echoes for those of you who it's not quite there yet. The tower is still, and then the nine of cups fulfillment. They're all running and filling each other and then refilling back, right? It's so beautiful. And the Ace of Pentacles discs, wealth, love and wealth. It's going right along with all the previous ones. The invitation to your generational wealth, to your, to your independent financial freedom, a satisfying, a fully rich, life that you have contributed actively to. Don't mind me. Let's see what's under this tower set. The princess, the page of cups, dreams. The world is underneath that. And the Nine of Swords. This is beautiful. All this stuckedness in your head, all of just trying to find truths and trying to make sense and trying to understand and trying to understand why something happened, but also at the same time, you've been trying to understand you and you, you are winning. You have chosen you. You're taking that sledgehammer, is that what it is? And you're knocking that shit down. And then you're watching it with your safety goggles and your blueprint. And your worker's already there. You're already doing it. This is a bananas reading to come out of these cards, but it's, it's so cool. It's so cool. Thank you, everyone, coming with your pristine energy. Thank you. Okay, are we going to do more tarot? Try. I think maybe, yep. Oh, what do we got, Musy Muse? Any more? No. Okay. That was funny. Did you see that? bottom split justice I haven't said any um signs yet I can't even remember what the other ones were justice is Libra towers Aries and Scorpio the queen of was it the queen of Pentacles that's uh Capricorn I don't think it's important. And I think you guys probably figured already know, even if I didn't say, because a bunch of y'all are pretty savvy tarot wise. Okay. And the page of voices, swords, justice in the page of swords. An invitation to your to inspiration to living a fully inspired life. That's your baseline. The emperor is under that. That's Aries. Okay. 
Mm, it could be somebody else's energy. It's connected to yours, but it doesn't have to be yours. It could be somebody else's. Okay, let's see what came out. This one was firsties. The death card. Scorpio. Oh, what is this one? The world. Yes. So much major arcana because you guys are fucking pristine. Your energy is pristine and you are all super powerful in alignment with yourselves. That's why all this shit is coming out. That's why we're getting intense tens. And then boom, death and ray. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, what's this one? The sun! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Oh my god. Wanna see what my room used to look like? My old bedroom. Isn't that pretty? Then it became art studio. Then it was my tarot studio before this one. Oh my God, what a fucking reading. <sighs> oh, it's outrageous. Fucking... Look at this shit. What the fuck? You should definitely look at these. This one was this way. That one's going into the sideways, but going into the reverse. Look at this fucking sun card. This is what my toenail color feels like, but it doesn't look anything like this and I'm not showing you, so no. I am a very terrible toenail painter. I am positive there are nine-year-olds out there who can definitely do a better job than me. <laughs> but I try real hard. <laughs> and it's good enough. And these are like red, which is not, normally I'm like nude, nude colors. And that's part of why, because I am not neat. I am not neat. Okay. I feel like I need to move this. This is not your energy. This is connected to energy that is not yours. Wow. I'm hearing it's both. It's both, it's your energy and somebody else's energy. It could just be the representation of their energy for you. No, it's it's where they are and it's what you know. You're picking up on it. You're picking up on it. Okay, this is really interesting. Some of you, that energy is past lives, it's karmic. It's karmic, meaning a lesson, a lesson that was meant for the lesson. The severing is what was meant to happen. There's something about this though, because the world is sideways going into the reverse. So instead of an acceptance of the complete timeline shift. There's a there's a creak in it. There's a crank, a kink in it. It's not even a kink. It's a halting. It's a pause. It's a pause. It's like meditation. Mm, that's what it is. It's still somebody figuring it out. It's someone figuring it out. 
but there, it's the world card and the death card and the sun card. So they're right there. Do you feel me? They're right there. They have to do it alone. And they know it. And so do you. You can't carry it anymore and you don't want to and you never wanted to. You didn't even know you were. I was just hearing it was a mutually abusive relationship. But what I mean by that is one of you abused the other and then the other of you abused yourself. So one of you abused themselves and the other and the other abused themselves. That's a mutually abusive relationship in the way I mean it right now. Whatever this is, it's ancestral. It's something that is going on in, in both of your bloodlines forever. You are, you are bound for this lesson. For, well, justice is over here. What's under justice? The chariot. Oh my God, and another fucking, that's cancer. And then the knight of cups under that. I think we had the knight of cups too in the other one, right? Or the page, I can't remember what it was. It's maybe the page. The Knight of Cups is on Pisces. Chariot is Cancer, Justice is Libra. There is a desire and an intention to heal this. You are doing the work for yourself and is, and that is fueling the desire in the, in the party that there's a wrong there, you know? Okay, hold on. Oh, so much self abuse. This doesn't feel like your energy, though you have been here in your life, but this isn't what you are currently going through. You've already gotten over that kind of stuff for the most part. Like you still do it maybe, but it's way less, you know, this person was not way less, but what a fighter. They're just not ready to trust themselves all the way. They're used to having somebody external start the steps for them and they have to do it on their own. That's what this is. They have to hold this up and they're not ready. They don't think they're ready, so they're not ready. This is going to, this is going to be different for everyone. There's no action. Okay. There isn't any action. There's intention and desire, but there is still very much becoming. And the way that this works out is you keep becoming yourself. They're either going to align with you or not. But that's this five of pentacles. If they don't, you feel joy. Because you know if it was yours, it would align in the same time. You know it. That's this and this. It's not, this, it's not devastating anymore. You're making peace with the pain. Ah, you're making peace with the pain. Oh my God. <sighs> What's happening in my head is, am I gonna pull an outcome card? I don't think so, because I don't like to do that. Because there is no out, the outcome here is to be determined, motherfuckers. That's what the fuck it is. But these fucking alchemy cards, once you come out, they're so beautiful. Oh, I love it, the colors. 
I'm really all about visuals right now. Healing through, through colors. Now that fucking um, colors, colors, colors. Ice tea. I am on oh, my picture. Nightmare walking, psychopath talking, stalking. I don't. Re I don't remember. I don't remember. But that song's in my head. Okay, it's got something to say. What do you have to say to our friends? Say less. That's what I'm hearing. Oh, okay. That's Mercury over there. Autumn, which came up the other day, and chaos. Autumn and chaos. This is maybe about trans meeting. Visual again, should look at it. It's like the forming, like a hypnagogic state like making sense of things. It's the void. Mm -mm. It's because of the presence of everything, it's come to one, it's made one solid single color mass, right? And now it's, it's the fog clearing from it. Does this make sense? And what you're finding underneath is passion, is inspiration and drive from death, from what is no longer. And it's taking all of that and it's focusing it and it's doing it in communion with source energy in picked up the frequency of source and you have to maintain it. You have to maintain your frequency so you can stay plugged into this. And this is what's going on when you tap in. You're putting it right back out there. Let's read these because I don't know what these are, but that's what I'm feeling like. So let's see, right? Okay, autumn. Well, I'm really glad I did this reading. I think this came up the other day. The culmination, the broad view, generosity, to go deeper, donate, any amount will do, to ponder active generosity. In alchemical terms, autumn is the denouement of Earth's grand narrative. Denouement? D-E-N-O-U-E-M-E-N-T. It is the symbol of culmination, harvesting, and resolution. The story of our year finds closure, and we begin to look toward the horizons of the next one. It is likely this card will appear as an indicator of efforts culminating of hard work paying off. That's the ace of wands. 
the hard work has paid off and it continues to pay off and you and you pay reverence and homage to it and you and you you keep nurturing it because nurturing it is nurturing you nurturing you is nurturing it nurturing you and nurturing it is nurturing all There's never, there's always abundance. It will not run out. It runs out if you don't contribute to it. But it only runs out for you. It's still there. You're just no longer plugged in. You feel me? It's like doggy paddling and then learning how to do different strokes. And you know what I mean? I went to get out and dive and all of that. Fruit hanging low for the taking. Gratitude and generosity are the spirit of the season, so share the wealth of your fortune. Looking back, you realize many hands and hearts have helped you along the way. Holding tight to your bounty won't do you any good. The alchemist shares their wisdom and wealth. They offer their boons back to the world as part of the ongoing cycle. That's what this feels like. Y'all are about to share things and parts of yourself that are you're creating that are going to really affect people. You're going to affect people in a way that's going to facilitate their own healing. And then they're going to, it's going to facilitate their own healing and then they're going to affect somebody else. Do you feel me? Do that special thing that makes you you. Do it. I don't know. I just heard saying that. Felt really weird. Okay, so okay. Here we go. Boop boop be doo. I don't know. I read it. Be like an autumnal tree. Come to fruition and then release. Attachment. No. Like, my kids aren't mine. They don't belong to me. They came through me. That's it, you feel me? The number one cause of death is birth. It's about that, it's about finding the one, the universal truth, the fundamental truth where, where peace lays, lies. And then holding those, upholding those into your everyday and maintaining it. Let's look at chaos. Chaos. Ready? Mega Man. Mega Man. Okay. Disoriented, spinning, groundlessness. Go deeper. Watch the film Dazed and Confused. 1993. To ponder, looking through the eye of the storm. The fog lifting, remember? Let's see. When an alchemist sits in their laboratory and missed the presence of Masa Confusa, Something miraculous is bound to occur. That's because this card, this state, is so powerful and all-encompassing that it typically overwhelms the student to the point of despair. Didn't despair, King. Remember? Look at the color of her hair, right? Remember, this was saying, this was all about learning, whatever. Look at this color the alchemy of it. It's taking that, the continuity of two totally different decks. You feel me though? If I say those things and they're not clear to you, write in the comments because my brain just goes 10 places at once. That's why it gets cut off. Okay. Such is the nature of chaos. It is the grand trickster, the topsy-turvy confusion that turns life on its head and spins a web not even the wisest mystic can untangle. Baffling, yes. Disorienting, yes. But the seasoned alchemist recognizing, recognizes it as the most potent point in the alch alchemical experiment. Wait, observe, do nothing. Focus on you. That's what this means. Wait, observe, do nothing. Doesn't mean you're not doing anything. It means you're only focused on you. 
you, <laughs> right? Keeping yourself in alignment, staying present. It is destiny itself that spins the web. Clarity will emerge one strand at a time. Your only task is to breathe, do not struggle. The three fates hold you in their sights as you free fall toward freedom. This is for both energies, but I feel super strongly that this is where your other energy is right now. You're, the whole thing is guided ancestrally for everyone involved. And like I said, this is a tie that has never ended. It's always been in every lifetime. And it's always significant in every lifetime. Sometimes it closes off. If someone else's free will takes them in a place where they have made the wrong choices for their highest vibrational good and fear has overtaken them and they are not carrying through their bond, what they were bound to, their vow, it will end for them. If you choose, it will end for them. How do I say this to you all? You and them will end. Once you have carried out your covenant and you owe nothing and you have moved from integrity and there literally, there's nothing that you are bound to. If that person doesn't align with you and keeps choosing to stay low and they're stuck because their human side is winning and you, you have grown, you don't miss out on that. That one wasn't for you. It's rewrites and you get the higher vibration of that person. They're still connected, but it's moved on. And you don't have to come back through a lifetime and fix that. You feel me? You're done and you you keep going. So keep that in mind with this. The important thing to focus on is the alignment of you, and the understanding of you, and the care and keeping of you. And that's you as a human and your physical self and all of your energetic self, all of it. Learn about it as much as you can in different ways. And then it's just the journey of, of nurturing all of that and keep deepening it. And then adding experiences in that deepen it even more and open new neural pathways. You know what I mean? Okay, let's do a Mercury because I've never gotten that one. And it's number three, which is the high. No, the Empress. Oh, interesting. Signals, messages, tricks. Go deeper. Look up the statue Mercury and Psyche by Reinhold Begas, 1857 to ponder the riddle with no answer. In the realm of, oh, someone else said Mercury today. Look up what planet, what sign is in your Mercury and house and all of that and see how it applies to you right now. I'm gonna do the same thing, okay? In the realm of Mercury, anything is possible. The energy is transfixing and seductive, like my toenail color. just like the metal itself. Since this planet rules commerce and communication, it's likely there are deals, contracts, and calls being exchanged that will spin you into a world of mercurial wonder. Those aces, the ace of wands, which is inspiration driven, passion driven, pleasure, 
experiencing and growing and feeling good from it. What the hell? Why was I saying that? Oh, the Ace of Cups, which is love, and the Ace of Pentacles, which is uh, your legacy. I hesitate to use that because I just think it, it might not be the one thing, but like your full rich life. That's that's part of this. And you might have like ideas and babies, like actual babies and brainstorm babies and things you're going to create. This is the wheels going in motion. Don't rush big decisions or get caught in the mesmerizing energy. That's the wand's energy. Rather, pay particular attention to the precise words that are being spoken and written. There may be a trick underway, maybe not. No one is sure yet. Stay present. Stay centered. Just observe. Even if it's something that aligns with you and it make you makes you feel like there's like an excitement. Excitement is good, but it shouldn't linger. As excitement can mean attachment. You know what I mean? Take it measured and from an even place. It is said that the energy of Mercury is found in the pinky finger and that its ally color is green, which is the heart chakra, by the way. Enjoy your time in this emerald hall of mirrors. Just don't sign your name on the dotted line until what is liquid becomes solid, until clear words are expressed by an honest tongue. That is going right in line with this, the Page of Swords, where there's still information that you feel like there's still, there's information still unknown and there's information you feel like you still need to gather. And it's coming, you don't know whether you should trust or not. And you're trying to figure that out, but you gotta watch because that in out of alignment, that can be stalker, it can be obsessive, but that's not what this is saying. This is saying, with all of these three together, it's saying, Eyes on, eyes on the prize, feet on the ground, heart wide, heart open, heart open, but go from a beginner's mind, a, a, a neutral observer witness mind and allow growing, death, what's coming, what's being reborn, you know, where are you going toward, the dust settling, the fog lifting, the fire burning and warming, the fire changing one form to another into something more beautiful than you've ever seen, you know? The refreshing of the water, the cleansing, the soothing, the peace. The peace in the tower. There's peace in this tower. Once again, just keep doing you. Okay, keep all of the things that move you towards your highest vibrational good, keep doing you, you. And when you think of that person that this energy is connected to, may you be in a place where you just wish them well and there's no longing, there's no hard feelings because why would there be? They're on a journey that's their own, even though they have deeply hurt you, it's, you've forgiven it. You've forgiven yourself, you understand you, and you're moving forward. There's no point in carrying the pain anymore. Keep blooming and being you. This is so dope. Okay, guys, thank you. I will see you next time. Next time another one comes through. Ciao, 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 ciao. Bye. Ciao. Bye. Ciao.